Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is Cherubo, and welcome to Hikari Clover Rescue. As you can see, there's waifus of varying colors. Look at that, red hair, blue hair, white hair, black hair. That's oh, pretty good, contrasted colors, I like that, that's cool. And green eyes, blue eyes, purple eyes, and yellow eyes. Anyway, let's get right into it. Let's go, alright, cool. Another day, another hard job. <laughs> another day, another hard job done. This is getting worse and worse every day. I mean, I love to do jobs in order to onboard, onboard my beloved chip. Um, <laughs> I think this like got space stuff in it, so I'm gonna try and do like a space dandy voice or something. I've dreamed about it ever since I was a little kid, but the payout is more insignificant each, each day, and the jobs getting weirder late are getting weirder lately. Those shady orders by mercenaries pay quite well, usually much higher higher than a normal client than a normal client. And those kind of jobs, best thing to do is not to ask too many questions and just get it done. But they're so dangerous, risky places, and not so friendly people to interact with. I don't like the idea of losing my life and taking the, the risk of living in a world without girls. <laughs> boobs are all to, to enjoy. And to top it off, instead of upgrading my ship, I always end up spending all my money on woman and alcohol. <laughs> on woman and alcohol! The booby bars leave me with no money again and again! Darn you, boobies! Oh man, they're so tempting. I oh mean, I should just go to boobies from Space Andy. But oh man, they're so tempting. I heard they've opened a new one a few blocks from downtown. I should go visit it soon! This is my problem. <laughs> the girls at the entrance look so hot. Although I think my beloved ship needs a good upgrade, it's getting out of control nowadays. I have less and less simple deliveries because apparently nobody trusts me much for not having one of the modern ships. But, it, but, but, it's a vintage model! The vintage! Retro! I'd really prefer to leave it intact, not adding new components that would ruin its style and originality. <laughs> I know I could use the new one, but after all, my ship and this clover-shaped amulet, even if it looks like something old and worn out, are the only and most important things I have in my life. Will we ever learn what this clover-shaped amulet is? <laughs> In that very moment, in that very moment, while walking through a dark alley in the city, a light coming out of nowhere completely blinds me! Why was I in a dark alley, though? <laughs> hey! What the hell is going on? Hey! What the hell is going on? Is this a trap? <laughs> I already paid my debts! Stop bothering me! I guess my name is Keijo. <laughs> or Keigo. A few, a few seconds later, that strange blinding light disappears and... What? What? I was abducted. A last generation ship? That type of vehicle wouldn't appear by any chance in the city. Plus, what am I doing inside of it? What the hell is going on here? Come on, get out, get out of there. The joke. Come on, get out of there. The joke is over. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. What the hell? What the hell is going on here? Is this some kind of? Is this some kind of a bad joke? At that very moment, a beautiful girl with light blue hair appears in front of me. <gasps> the waifu. Hello. Oh, she has a clover too. I mean, seriously, what the hell is going on here? In the blink of an eye, they put me in the latest, in the latest generation ship with an incredible girl with more than a remarkable pair of breasts. <laughs> of course. Oh no, the, well, of course. Remember, show love for the booty as well. Oh, can I? No, that's not it. Uh, H. Yes. Yeah, CG. And away. <clears throat> there. Mm. Hmm. Oh, there. Hey, this might not be so bad after all. And this is no joke. Kasumi, My name is Kasumi. I'll be your guide and co-pilot. You are on board of the CRS. Excuse me for saving some formalities, but we don't have any time to lose. This is getting weirder every second. Look, Sumi is not at all bad looking. <laughs> the corporation, a co covert criminal organization. Sorry. The corporation, a co covert criminal organization. Sorry. A covert criminal organization. Sorry. The corporation, a covert criminal organization that hides politically and economically behind the largest and richest multi multinational comp companies, is planning to have dom dominion over the city. Possibly the country, and finally, the world. Okay, Kasumi. Okay, Kasumi. You're very pretty and everything, but... Please, what's happen- what's happening? Kasumi blushes a little when she hears my words. Oh yes, my words! <laughs> it's so smooth! <laughs> yeah, she blushes because my words are just so smooth. Hey! We don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. But really, you're very cute. <laughs> even though you'll be even more beautiful to explain what I'm doing here. <laughs> Seriously, seriously, where are the hidden cameras? Am I getting punked right now? <laughs> or is this a kidnapping? Don't waste your time with me. I mean, I don't have a single penny. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a single penny to give you. It's getting kind of late and- Hey, Kago! Hey, Kago! <laughs> How do you know my name? You see, I know a lot- you see, I know a lot about you. Please, I ask you to be more serious- please, I ask you to be more serious about this mission. We need you. I like how they just jump right into the plot. No time for it. No, no, no time to waste. This very moment, there are three girls kidnapped in different parts of the country. Oh no, what? They're extremely important for us to carry out our plan and emerge victorious, stopping the evil plans of the corporation. We must rescue them immediately. Otherwise, humanity as a whole will be at great risk. 
Humanity as a whole will be a great ri will be at great risk. Come on, Kas Kasumi! Come on, Kasumi! Stop teasing me! I have absolutely nothing to do with what you're telling me. Please, just let me go. Your ship is great. Your ship is great and all, but I should go oh, to work to repair mine. Or maybe to go. Or maybe to go to that tempting booby bar. I don't intend to go. <laughs> I don't intend to go to this supposed this. this <laughs> I don't intend to go to this supposed suicide mission, and also, there's no payment! And also, there's no payment! Also, let's be realistic for a moment. Why, of all the people in the, of this huge city, have you chosen me? I'm just a normal guy, and a lazy one. Kasumi gets even more furious, sighs for a second, and looks at me again. <sighs> Look, I've been analyzing you for several weeks, Keigo. Don't, pl don't play dumb. What? <laughs> what? What? You were spying- what? You were spying on me? Kasumi's face turns red. No, but but I know for sure that despite your laziness, you're a great passionate pilot, and a guy who knows how to deal very well with women and a, on a consistent basis. I've seen you spend most of your time, not to say almost all of it, involved in that. <laughs> um, uh, I think you know a little too much, my dear Kasumi. <laughs> Those two special qualities would help us a lot in this mission, both to infiltrate the different points where these bo Sorry. both to infiltrate the different points where, where these girls are captive. And also to deal with the girls and convince them that we're th sorry. And also to deal with the girls and convince them that we're the good guy that we're the good guys. And how do I know that we that we really are the good guys? Indeed. And worse yet, how do you, how do you how do you know so much about me, Kago? Yes. <laughs> yes. Y you you have you have to believe me, please. Kasumi's face looks a little disappointed. After she realizes I still don't believe in that much. Sorry. After she realizes I still don't believe that much of what she's telling me. That much of what she's telling me. I can tell that this girl isn't that used to dealing with people. She lacks a little bit of subtlety. She lacks a little bit of subtlety. I'm sorry. Did I miss anything? No, sorry. Although her beautiful face and those beautiful breasts <laughs> that she can, <laughs> that she has can compensate for. <laughs> Although her beautiful face and those beautiful breasts that she has can compensate for it, of course. Can't Keiko? Yes. Yes. Look me in the eyes, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't give you any more explanation. I can't give you any more explanation right now. Kasumi's face gets a little red. But you have to trust me. You must cooperate with this mission. Whoa! It's true that Kasumi has a very nice-looking body. <laughs> Keep talking, bringing that up. Whoa! It's true that Kasumi has a very nice-looking body. Her blue eyes, her perfect hips, and I may be, and I may be being sorry, and I may be being, and I may be being somewhat maybe, and I may be being somewhat redundant, and I may be being somewhat redundant, but. Man, those breasts! <laughs> and not to mention that good pair of legs. Indeed. What? What? Wait a minute. Uh, hey, Kasumi, what's that on your right arm? That amulet, shaped like a clover. Even though it's transparent, it looks very similar to mine. I... I have this one. I... I have this one. Look, look, look. I take out my amulet and I show it to her. Uh, along with my vintage ship, it's the only inheritance I have left of my beloved father. I never knew exactly what it was, or what was, or what was it, or what was its function. But anyway, I always keep it with me. I think it brings me. I think it brings me some kind of luck. I think it brings me some kind of luck, since it seems something really. Since it seems something really important to him. I know. I know you have a similar. I know. I know you have a similar one. I was about to explain, but you just kept interrupting me. Answer. But you just kept interrupting me and looking me up and down. <laughs> but you just kept interrupting me and looking me up and down. Oh Idiot! Well, well, don't be mad at me. It's natural to appreciate a beautiful girl when I see one. Kasumi gets a little red again. <laughs> tell, tell me more. These are the clover amulets. Special amulets. Sorry, sorry. Special amulets capable of using, transmitting, and sealing powerful energy of different elements. Of different elements. And in spite of dedicating almost all of my life to their research, and in spite of dedicating almost all of my life to the re to the research, I still don't I still don't completely know all their functions and, and capacities. I still don't know. Comp I still don't completely know all their functions and. Oh my god! Sorry. I still don't know. Com I still. I still don't completely know all their functions and capabilities. Capacities and, and, and capacities. Sorry. Nor the real purpose of why we have them. But what's important to know now is that the corporation learned about their existence very recently, and with all the resources and mon money they have at disposal, they're trying to see. They're trying to seize all of them. Moving from the shadows, using facades, facades, or facades, yeah, facades of important companies from which everyone consumes their products. Are there more than these two? That's right. And according to my most recent research, they plan to use them to create a new world order and to rule all humanity by force, making us their slaves. Oh, uh, we can't let that happen. Whoa, that sounds serious. Whoa, 
That sounds serious. I should at least listen to what she has to say now. This amulet was always a great mystery to me, and what reminds me of my beloved father the most. And what reminds me of my beloved father the most. What reminds me of my beloved father the most. Sorry. Each one of the kidnapped girls that I sorry. Each one of the kidnapped girls that I mentioned is the owner of one unique element. Sorry. Each one of the kidnapped girls that I mentioned is the owner of a one of one unique amulet. Each one of them has an element and an energy, unique and special. The only advantage we still have is that the corporation doesn't know yet doesn't know yet exactly how to release or use how to release or use the powerful energy they possess. I think I'm understanding this sorry, I think I'm understanding the situation a little better now. But I'm still not entirely convinced. Again, my biggest question is why exactly am I the one who who has to help? There are so many skilled and talented people on the planet. That's where I, that's where I was going. As I told you before, the corporation still doesn't know exactly how these amulets work. The only the only information that that according sorry, the only information that according to my research we have so far is that the key to use them is the person who owns them, and that and that they're the only ones capable of using them to their full potential or use them at all. That's why they only kidnapped those girls and they didn't kill them. Yet, our our only and greatest advantage is that they have the power and the money, but they lack the knowledge. Well. Convinced now? Convinced now? Convinced now? Sorry. Hmm. Kasumi sighs. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to get to this yet, but I see that I but I see that I have no other option. I'll have to explain the last part completely. The last part? Last part? Are you still are you still are you still hiding something from me? N no Monica. idiot! Kasumi blushes. <laughs> you see, if you accept the mission. Not only will we be able to solve the mystery of the Clover Amulets, and, and above all, the one of your father and why it meant so much to him, but you'll also discover that... the Clover energy of these girls that we need to rescue can only be transmitted, stored, sealed, or used in any way through the multicolored Clover, the Clover that you have, Keiko. What? What? Are you just telling me that now? I thought that it was going to be obvious! <laughs> can we seem somewhat embarrassed as she speaks? I thought it was going to be obvious! Her face is getting completely red. What's happening to her? And the only way to transmit this energy that really works is through sex with this corresponding owner. That is the kidnapped girls. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Now that is some real. That is really some good news. <laughs> oh, she looks bad. Why didn't you just start out there? Why didn't you start out there? <laughs> we would have saved a lot of time. Kasumi's face still red as a tomato fills with anger. Because I knew you were a pervert. If I told you that from the beginning, you weren't going to listen to the rest of the story, you idiot. That's probably right. <laughs> you probably would have skipped everything. Well, when she's well, when she's right, she's right. Having sex with girls totally for free in order to save the world—that doesn't sound bad at all. I mean, let me tell you what we stiff. Okay, okay. I accept. <laughs> I accept. I accept, baby. Well, it's about time you understood the seriousness of the situation. I'm glad you did. I insist. I insist. If you had started with the sex part, everything would have been much easier. <laughs> okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. That doesn't matter anymore. W well, well, now, before starting our first objective, you need to fully understand how the cl you need to fully understand how the clover amulets work. Kasumi blushes again. I'll give you a little demonstration with my colorless clover. <laughs> the movie, ch <laughs> the music changed. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very smooth. Let's get all space dandy up in here. I'm about to rock your world, baby, <laughs> with my dandy music skills. It doesn't have any special power to you. Sorry. Sorry. It doesn't have any special power or use, or at least I haven't discovered it yet. But I think it's going to be more than enough to do this demonstration. Kasumi said to take off the top of her uniform. Whoa, careful! She's slowly showing me her beautiful and perfect breasts. Whoa, whoa! This is just getting better and better. Okay, <laughs> good. It's reminding me of Desert Punk, actually. So this demo is going to be a good amount of. Don't hype yourself so much. <laughs> Don't hype yourself so much! Don't make that much of a scandal, idiot. <laughs> this is just part of the process so we can activate your hidden power as quickly as possible. So you have the highest chance of success when you f when you face the real threat. It's not like I want to do it or anything. Kasumi slowly and timidly approaches me. She bends down in front of me, pulls out my shirt, pulls out my shirt, and pulls my pants down. Oh, careful, what are you doing? As her face turns completely red, when she sees my thing, my leg, which was already beginning to... <laughs> Well, oh god! <laughs> okay. A few minutes later, on board the CRS. Okay, it's 
time to start the real mission. Okay. Can I, can I like just look at a log? There it is. Alrighty. Okay. Nah. Okay. Okay. Good boy, Zander. <laughs> I think I'm understanding a bit more about all this. Although I think I'll need a couple more examples to get all the concepts. Kasumi turns red like a tomato. None of that! It was enough with this already. Now the real mi mission begins. Let's move. A few minutes later, on board the CRS. Okay, it's time to start the real mission. You already know what this was. What this is all about. You already learned how the clovers work. Any questions? No, nothing. I really need another demonstration. <laughs> uh, well, I just want to see you. Like, you're probably not gonna go. Anywhere. I really need another demonstration of yours. Kago! Please, be serious! This is a really dangerous mission we're facing. Our first objective will be Akane. I hope this Akane girl looks sexy. <laughs> don't think about that! Don't, don't think about that, you idiot! Don't think about that, you idiot! The future of our planet is at stake, and you only think about that? S sorry, Kasumi. I just can't help it. Ahem. As I was saying, the info about Akane is quite scarce. She has remained anonymous since a very young age. But apparently the rumors indicate that she has been away from the city, leading some kind of resistance. We don't know very well the reason, but you can see that she has managed to get to get far enough sorry. That she that she has managed to get far enough to get the attention of the corporation. And of course, everything indicates that she owns a clover amulet. Everything indicates that she owns a clover amulet. What kind of clover does she have? It would be nice to know those those things before <clears throat> sorry. It would be nice to know those things before facing the mission. Kasumi looks surprised. Wow. I didn't expect you to think about something like that, Keiko. You may even you may even seem you, you even may seem smart when you're not thinking about women, boobs, and alcohol. I'm going I'm going to take that as a compliment. Another important advice: be extremely careful. Careful with what? With what? With what? With everything. Be careful with your words and your actions once you meet her. Once 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 we meet her, and, and this advice goes for all the objectives objectives that we have to face from now on. Each of these girls that we have that we must find is a skillful person, a leader in their own right. They are very capable and intelligent people. It won't be easy to treat and convince them to join our cause. We won't know what we're going to find we won't know what we're going to find until we do so. Be be very Be very careful, Kago. Kasumi gets a little mad. <laughs> hey, hey! Those were supposed to be my hey hey hey, those were supposed to be my words. Those were supposed to be my words. I know, you see, I know, you see. I know. You see? We're already getting to know each other. We're already getting to know each other. I think we can make a good I think we can make a good team after all. Idiot. Idiot. Of course I'll accompany you in each one of the rescues. I don't want you to screw it all up at the most important mo I don't want you to screw it all up at the most important moment. Hmm. I think you're coming with me to watch him over me and make sure I don't get wild with any of the girls at the wrong place or time. Kasumi turns red. <laughs> None of that! I'm not interested in what you do with the girls! But to make sure, but to make, but make sure to do it once we get back to the ship. But make sure to do it once we get back to the ship. The first step of each mission is to infiltrate a building that the corp that the corporation is running. At first glance, they may look like normal buildings with the quite with the quite normal security, but inside they they subdue their prisoners. They carry out experiments and who knows what else? Kasumi, fa who knows what else? Kasumi's face becomes more serious than usual. Kasumi, are you okay? Hope those girls are still okay. Kasumi, are you okay? Kasumi, are you okay? Yes, sorry. As I was saying, we have something in our favor. We have something in as I, sorry. As I was saying, we have something in our favor. Apparently, the secu apparently the security personnel of these buildings is quite basic at the moment. As on the outside, they seem to be one. Sorry. Sir. As on the outside, they seem to be one building of the bunch. It would be pretty strange if they put heavy security military or something. They put heavy security military or something like that. The heavy security comes inside. It's electronically set with some sort of with some of the top technology available. But don't worry about it. I got it. I got it covered. I'll be jamming all the cameras and devices for a brief moment, so we can enter the so we can enter with no for a brief moment so for a brief moment, so we can enter with no problem. We must be we must be kind of quick. But let's hope I can make sorry. We must be kind of quick. But let's hope I can make enough time. That is why we must devise some plan and strategy to be able to infiltrate. Every second counts. Kasumi, despite her bad mood, is a very smart girl. Understood. Akane is currently in a remote suburb, far away from the capital city. It seems that she was captured near her main base of operations and was taken to the nearest taken to the nearest headquarters of the corporation. Oh, 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 that's yes, oh. We'll have to be extremely careful. Are you ready? Ready when you're ready, baby. <laughs> ready when you're ready, baby. All right, Clover. Re Sorry. All right, Clover rescue system activated. Let's move out.
All right, cool. A few moments later, but that's all the time I got for this one, everybody. What will happen next? Find out next time on Hikari Clover Rescue Z. Okay, sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. What you guys think of this game? It's funny, you know, I'm getting like Space Dandy de Desert Punk vibes. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please like below. If there's any other games you'd like me to play or if you want to talk, please comment down below as well. And if you like this and like it some more, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bells. That'd be epically appreciated of you. And as always, my name is Cherry Boy. My good life to make guys smile. As for the voices, I think we're just going to be switching up uh, Kago's voice a bit, you know, just like Desert Punk, Space Dandy, stuff, something like that. And Hikari, I don't know, uh, what was the name? Kasumi. Kasumi. Uh, what do you guys think of the voice? I think it's about right. All right, I know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys so much for the support and showing me and everything. You guys are truly, totally, totally epically awesome. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye. See ya.